Those parklets that popped up during the pandemic are apparently here to stay. KPI XY's Betty Yu has some reaction to the change of the cityscape. Can the Board of Supervisors tonight agree that these parklets would continue to add life and vibrancy to our city? Restaurants that we spoke with tonight are excited about the decision, especially because many of these parklets were pricey investments. What started as a temporary lifeline for businesses during the pandemic will now be a permanent fixture in San Francisco. Parklets are here to stay. Milgar, I, Supervisor Peskin. Aye. Tonight, the Board of Supervisors unanimously approved shared spaces legislation introduced by Mayor London Breed. I just think this is a wonderful, wonderful uh, new program and, and that will be formalized going forward for our city that will help our city to thrive and help our small businesses to recover. Small businesses won't have to pay permitting fees for two years. The board also expanded the program to include public parklets for other uses like arts and entertainment. For us financially, you know, those parklets brought business to, you know, since we were not allowed to sit inside. So by having those parklets, Parklets and is still doing the social distancing outside. That was a savior for us. The Dorian restaurant and bar in the marina said since the reopening, sales have reached pre pandemic levels with the help of its parklet and outdoor seating. They've added 130 seats outside to the existing 200 inside. I think it's great for especially for local businesses, things like that to stay open, make up for the lost revenue in restaurants and stuff. I mean, I understand the parking situation. The parking situation was always bad. Bad. Still, some retail owners feel that parklets are bad for business because they hide their storefronts, and not all residents are on board. Because you can't park anywhere to accommodate the locals, remove them because locals park on those spots. Yeah, more and more, Betty, it seems that uh, uh, some of these businesses are not using their parklets. So, what happens when that's the case? Well, the board did address that tonight. They voted to ensure that these spaces could be used when they're not in commercial use. So, for example, perhaps some seating for the community, and this would only take place during the daytime hours. Ken. All right, Betty, you reporting live. Thank you, Betty.